Now I find the New Year's resolutions as a concept probably as useful as any other person. But I agree that wanting to change is a good thing. However, why wait until this randomly chosen day to come? Just do it now. There's also this, if I remember correctly, Chinese proverb that goes something along the lines of the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and the second best time is today. Now, this video isn't meant to be about New Year's resolutions. It just so happened that I wanted to try out a couple of things around the end of the year and that also got me thinking about the concept. With that being said, one of the things I started doing this year or more specifically, got back to after months-long hiatus, was basically daily journaling. And that's kind of what this video is about. If you watched any of my last videos, you'd know that lately I've just been making what I call random rambling style of content. In short, video essays where I ramble, aka talk at length in a confused or inconsequential way about various subjects. Usually it has to do with self-help niche. And journaling is, for me, kind of the same thing. And one of the reasons why I think it's a great habit to have is that it helps with a lot of negative thoughts and emotions. I don't want to use the words like depression or anxiety, because I don't really think I'm in a position to talk about those. But I hope you get what I mean. Overall, it literally doesn't take that much time to do, even on a day-to-day -day basis. And just the process of organizing your feelings and whatnot, especially as a person who one could say, if you want to be a bit more critical about the situation, is addicted to mindless scrolling of YouTube shorts, uh, Instagram reels or TikTok videos, doesn't matter. It's all the same. It's just social media. Yeah, I meant to say, organizing your thoughts by writing them is great because things then make more sense. The example of which you just witnessed right now in my nonsensical tangent about social media addiction. But that's also just bad scripting on my part. But anyhow, if we were to go back to the idea of journaling, and think about how one can make this, so to speak, task easier to do, especially if you feel like you don't know what to talk about, how to start, or maybe you feel like you might have ADHD or executive dysfunction, again, Please take anything I say with a giant grain of salt, as I literally have no clue what I'm going on about. Anyway, you can literally just google reflective journaling questions for every month or day, and then just answer them, however you feel about them. It doesn't have to be a long entry after all. This actually reminds me of another thing you can do, which might get pretty fun once you age up a couple of years, which, well, A, obviously you get to read the sh you thought was true when you were younger, and can also compare, but also B, you could write about the dreams you dreamt that night, or what happened to you during the day, and then just reminisce about it in the future. The possibilities are quite endless. I mean, also, you could just literally just sketch something or print images, which is also quite fun. I don't know, man. Just wanted to share some of my thoughts on what I'm doing right now, and since you got this far into the video, thank you for watching, and if you want to listen to more random sentences, you can check out this video about why games are no longer fun, and how I tried to fix it. But again, thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.